Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have discussed few examples based on base, based on Bayesian network. Right. Now let us discuss this particular question. So this is question number 64 from gate DA24 exam based on AI course based on Bayesian network topic. Right. Now we already discussed about uh, this particular diagram that is directed a cyclic graph what i can conclude by just looking at this particular graph that u is a parent node right let me uh, erase this part so u is a parent node it is independent of any other node because there is no incoming arrow what about v v is dependent on u what about w w is dependent on u what about z Z is dependent on V and W, right? So, this is what I can say from this particular diagram. Now, what is given to us is that this particular structure and these are the CPT. What is CPT? Conditional probability tables. So, this is given to us, okay? And we need to find out the value of this particular thing. So, I already discussed in the previous video how to find out the probability for this particular cases right so the joint probability the joint probability uh, in this case we have four nodes so that will be probability of u comma v comma w comma z right uh, for a given network i can say for a given network right because if the diagram is changed even if the four nodes are there then the formula will be different right now how to formulate uh, this particular formula probability having these four nodes for a given structure right so first here u is independent node right there is no incoming arrow so probability of u into what about this v so v is dependent on u so can i say probability of v given that u this is condition probability right i can write like this for this v so that will be so that will be probability of v given u multiplied by what about this thing w so here probability of w given that u can i write like this yes because w is also dependent on u so this will be probability of w given u right now what about this z into what about this z now here z is dependent on v and w right so what i can say probability of z given that v or w or both right so this is what i can say from this particular uh, diagram okay so this is the formula for joint probability for a given network remember one important point i am saying given network if i slightly change the diagram the formula will be different okay now this is the joint probability formula we got from this network now just we need to put the values here but for which condition for this particular case probability for u equals to 1 v equals to 1 w equals to 1 z equals to 1 right so i am just so i am just putting the values now i hope you have watched my previous video where i have discussed why these particular values are given to us and what, what is the significance of this particular thing okay so please watch my previous videos you can find out the significance of this particular thing i am just explaining the solution in this particular video okay now here we want to find out the probability for the nodes or the variables having value one so this will be probability of u when equals to one into prob probability of v equals to one given that u equals to one into Prob probability of w equals to 1 given that u equals to 1 into probability of z equals to 1 given that u equals to 1 and w equals to 1 right so simply i am putting whatever the required the thing is right if if they ask for 1 then v0 w0 then you have to use that particular value okay now how to get uh, this values this is already given to us in terms of cpts right now what about the probability when u equals to 1 so probability when u equals to 1 is what 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 right 
let me use a different pane here what about this one probability when v equals to 1 given that u equals to 1 probability v equals to 1 given that u equals to 1 means this particular thing so multiply by 0 0.5 right now what about uh, this one probability given w equals to 1 probability w equals to 1 given that u equals to 1 so w equals to 1 given u equals to 1 is what 1 so multiply by 1 into probability that z equals to 1 given that v equals to 1 and w equals to 1 so probability z equals to 1 given that w equals to 1 v equals to 1 this one so 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 right so if you do the calculation answer will be 0 0.125 that's it rounded off to three decimal places so 0 0.125 will be the answer okay i hope you understand this particular example it was asked for two marks if you understand this particular diagram and how to find out the joint probability for a given network then that's it rest everything will be given to you so in some cases this may give you only partial data other thing you have to find out by one minus that particular probability right what we have discussed in the first video so that thing you have to find out if this thing is not given to us but most of the thing is given to you you just need to uh, apply the formula and put the values that's it simple question for two marks okay so i hope you understand this particular solution now what i am saying based on this question only same diagram and same cpt they can ask number of questions right so here we need to find out the probability for u equals to 1 v equals to 1 w equals to 1 z equals to 1 what if they ask for this one probability when u equals to 1 v equals to 0 w equals to 0 z equals to 1 what about this one probability when u equals to 0 v equals to 1 w equals to 1 z equals to 1 right so different combinations are possible for this particular question right they can ask any question by changing the value of u v w z right so that will be so that will give you the different answer for this okay you just need to use this particular value and apply the formula you will get the answer for this thing okay but what if they change the diagram what i am saying so this is the one type of question you can expect same diagram same cpt or they can change the values in the tables but right and they can ask you this type of question any arrangements are possible right now they can ask different question by just changing the diagram so instead of giving this diagram so this is given to us u v w z right so this thing is given to us like this so this is the first case it they can ask like this also u v w z like this so this is dependent on this this is dependent on this this is dependent on this right they can ask you like this also u is dependent on so u then arrow v and then we have like this w and then z right so this also so this is also possible what about this thing u is given to you then v then w and then z right this is also possible what about uh, this network u is given to you v is given to you w and z is given to you right they can ask any question like this like this right so similar to this one but i have just changed this arrow here to here right so there are number of arrangements are possible different networks are possible and they can ask you question right so what they can ask from this bayesian network they can change the dag dag means this particular graph they can change the cpt tables so these are the cpt these are the dag and they can change the required condition so they can change the required condition okay required conditional probability right so they can change the question they can change the cpt they can change the graph only these varieties are possible right we already discussed the scenario for uh, three nodes right so that is also possible 
even five nodes are also possible if they give entire data like this right so you can expect five nodes also what if they give y like this and we have graph like this right so this is also possible right so this is for five nodes if i just add this extra node here so they can just simply change the deg cpt and the required probability that's it you can get number of questions based on this particular thing okay but you should know how to formulate this particular formula if you get this one then the question is simpler you just need to put the values okay so that's it from this particular lecture i hope you understand the solution thank you